Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of technical analysis on Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency markets, and more specifically, I'm sure you guys will all remember what happened back here on the 14th of November, where Bitcoin dived all the way below $6,000, the support level of $6,000, and crashed all the way down to a recent low of $5,200. And as you can see while we're recording, if you just watch that, Bitcoin is actually on its way back up. And that leads us into the question of today's video. Why exactly did Bitcoin not go any lower than it did. I mean, I expected that if Bitcoin broke $6,000, we would be trading at around $5,000 right now, but we're actually only trading at about $5,600 and some change on the Coinbase chart and even higher on the Bitfinex chart. Quite interesting that we didn't see even more bearish price action come out of this. And in fact, we also see we also saw Bitcoin enter a bearish pennant right here, which surprisingly enough, we haven't seen a major bearish breakout of. Where are the bears? If we were to go below six thousand dollars, it seems like that would cause that would have caused a much more bearish uh, situation than we've currently seen so far. Definitely something interesting, and definitely what we're going to be talking about in today's video. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. One thing I do want to say is that I apologize for this video being out late, and this video might be a little bit shorter because my internet absolutely hates me guys I'm getting it fixed I have to order a new router the new router should be here on Tuesday I believe anyway after that is fixed I do believe that we're not gonna have any more issues with the internet and we'll be going back to normal upload schedules what with me being sick and also my internet just not working properly over the last week or so the channel hasn't really been acting normally that should be going back to normal over the next couple of days anyway now let's actually go ahead and get on into the video. It's quite nice that we saw Bitcoin having a little pump here as we started the video. If we come in here to the minute chart, we're going to see that that actually moved quite quickly. And right at the same time we were recording, I like to see that Bitcoin is now above $5,600. This is not a live stream if you're watching during the premiere, but we are seeing that Bitcoin is doing quite well. And that does really lead into what we're talking about in today's video. I am very surprised to see that we haven't seen more bearish price action come out of this. And I, only part of me is is surprised by that. And let me explain. Because you guys will probably remember for a very long time, I've been saying that if Bitcoin breaks $6,000, Bitcoin is headed straight to $5,000 because there's not going to be a ton of support in the middle between there. And we did go all the way down to about $5,200. I expected we'd probably see some kind of bounce around fifty two around $5,000. And that's basically what we've seen. But it is very interesting that we haven't seen more bearish price action, even following this pennant where Bitcoin had the opportunity to go lower because as a bearish pennant, we expected Bitcoin to have some kind of bearish breakout of it. But actually, the interesting thing is you can actually redraw this pennant. If we redraw this pennant like this, what we're going to see is that Bitcoin's actually breaking bullish out of that. Bearish pennants, guys, tend to break bearish more often than not. About 60 to 70% of the time, a bear pennant will break bearish, especially if we've just seen one of the most important, actually the most important level of support in all of Bitcoin technical analysis be breached. You would probably have expected that this is going to be breaking bearish, but it hasn't. As you can just see, when we started this video, Bitcoin has just broken bullish. Perhaps it was a good thing I had to wait to record this video because we've seen this develop ever since then, ever since this morning. Anyway, we're going to be continuing the Bitcoin technical analysis, but as always, I do want to go ahead and do the crypto market recap. So let's go ahead and give Coin Market Cap a little refresh here, and we're going to see across all exchanges, Bitcoin is currently hovering around $5,600 with a daily volume of around $4 billion. That's a rather healthy volume day, and in fact, it's quite nice that we see that volume that high because it was very low before we broke $6,000, hovering around three to three and a half billion dollars. I like to see more volume coming back into the space, guys. I've talked about a lot of times why it's important that we see a lot of volume come back into the space, and I'm always happy to see that volume number look a little more healthy than it did the day prior. Anyway, Bitcoin's up around 1.5% over the last 24 hours, and XRP has been doing very, very well ever since this Bitcoin crash. As you can see, many of the altcoins have not been doing anywhere near as XRP, has not been doing anywhere near as well as XRP has. As you can see, XRP is up about 5.68% on the day. It's above 50 cents, and it's passed Ethereum in market capitalization by over $2 billion, securing that lead that XRP has been trying to take for literally over a year now, guys. I've watched XRP try and flip Flip X, uh, Ethereum many, many, many times, and never has it really been very successful. But right now, XRP is looking very, very is looking very, very bullish. And a lot of people in my comment section are even telling me that they think XRP is going to usurp Bitcoin in the next year or so. We're so we're going to see how that develops. I'm not going to, well, I take that back. I was going to say I'm not going to weigh in on that. I will weigh on, in on that. I don't think XRP is going to flip Bitcoin in the next year, but I do think XRP is probably going to be doing pretty well moving on into the rest of this bear market accumulation phase and on into the next bull market, especially when some kind of altcoin cycle or altcoin runs comes. I imagine XRP is going to be leading that charge, perhaps along with Ethereum. We'll see how that plays out. Anyway, let's go ahead and sort by change over the last 20 for hours and we can see that as a matter of fact factum is the number two up cryptocurrency the number two cryptocurrency in the green up about 25 percent and digitex futures 
uh, is up about 33%. Couldn't think of a pun on that one, guys. I do apologize, or perhaps, you, per, perhaps you're happy I didn't think of one. Anyway, Inside Chain is down by about 7.75%. I figured I'd give you guys the insight on that. Anyway, I think that's all we wanted to cover on Coin Market Cap. So let's go ahead and jump back on into the chart. And like I said, this is the main point of today's video. Why is Bitcoin not turned out more bearish? I want you guys to tell me in the comment section down below what you make of that. Because while I've said many times, and this is one of the reasons why I'm not... I'm not insanely surprised by this. I've said many times that I didn't think Bitcoin was worth anything below $6,000. I, I said that for a very long time. I've said that for a very long time. If you can go back uh, on the channel, you'll see that. I, I stand by that. I don't think Bitcoin is worth less than $6,000. The market seems to disagree, at least for the time being. But it is very interesting that we're actually seeing Bitcoin move up a little bit. Now, this could all be erased in the next two minutes to the next 24 hours to the next two months. We could see Bitcoin come up here and fall right back over in a similar way as to what we saw at the at the uh, tail end of the bear market in 2015 over here we saw something similar happen so perhaps we're just seeing this little analogy right here when bitcoin entered the end of its bear market right back over here this period right in here if we zoom in what we saw is Bitcoin had a nice little bounce up here and moved up to the level of resistance before continuing even further south. Perhaps that's what we're seeing right now, guys. Not totally sure. That's why I'm not really making any calls in this market. I want to give it a couple weeks to really start to develop, and then we'll start getting into what we think is going to happen with the market. Right now, I'm just kind of commentating on what's going on and asking you guys' opinion on where you think the market is going to go. Because... Like I've said, I don't think Bitcoin is worth below $6,000. The fundamentals are looking just as good as ever. The altcoin market actually seems to be doing pretty well because a lot of the worthless volume and a lot of the valuation that was undeserved by many of these altcoins is now gone. And XRP seems to be doing extremely well. We see the altcoin markets are doing all right, especially in the face of Bitcoin breaking $6,000. The market doesn't really seem all that bearish, guys, despite Bitcoin uh, coming down right here. Of course, this was very bearish. I'm not saying that this was bearish. This was very obviously a bearish movement right here. But the rest of the market doesn't seem that bearish. We we saw about a day or two of very, very deep blood red uh, change over the last 24 hours figures here on Coin Market Cap. But recently, we've seen a lot of green, actually. If you guys noticed... When I was doing the crypto market recap, about 20 altcoins are in the red and the rest are in the green, which is definitely very interesting. Like I said, guys, I think just about no matter what happens on the Bitcoin chart, we are still towards the tail end of the bear market. This is obviously a big enough bearish movement to say that we are still in the bear market and that the accumulation phase hasn't properly begun yet. It's going to be a little bit harder to call that after we've broken $6,000, but we'll have to see what happens there. But I do think a lot of the bearishness is over. I still think that even if the bear market is not, in fact, over like I thought it was, that we're still pretty close to it. I don't think Bitcoin is going to be going down to two or three thousand dollars i could see it going down to four or five thousand dollars but i really don't see any reason that it would go quite as low as some people are calling it like i said guys i do want to throw it back to you and tell and ask you guys this opinion what you think is going to happen here tell me in the comment section down below where you think bitcoin is going to be going over the next couple of days there wasn't a whole lot to talk about and i did need to make this video short so that i could get it up quickly because i didn't even know i was going to be able to record today my internet just magically came back on i didn't think it was going to i didn't think there was going to be a video today but clearly there is, and I did want to point this out to you guys. Anyway, guys, like I said, tell me in the comment section down below what you think, and that's going to do it for this video. I will hopefully be back tomorrow. If not, I will be back hopefully Tuesday, maybe Wednesday at the very latest. I will be back and up to a normal upload schedule. Anyway, like I said, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I do want to thank each and every single one of you for watching, as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.